What are the odds of this? I have six fucking forests in my thing. You're killing me right now. You're literally killing me. Alright, that's better. Even then, it's not great. I need to get fire mine vessel out. So that'll be good. Oh my god, you are literally murdering me right now. Oh, fuck off. That card is going to kill me. Alright, well. I can at least do this much. Didn't really have a choice. What do you do? Oh, no. My fucking is it deck. That's not good. This is good, though. For it even got a chance to move. Okay. And then I can play Giant Growth, so I will. No shenanigans today. I need another mana, please. It's not another mana, but I can work with it. Actually... That is technically another mana. I'll allow it. Whenever you cast non creature spell, put a 1 1 counter on it. Alright, so my guess is that they won't block my attack. Yeah. You fool. They have a lot of mana. What's this card do again? Can't be blocked this turn. Okay, let's get Firemind Vessel out there. So I can start getting some of this mana. Um, I'm not going to attack because that card doesn't get pretty decent offense. Play this next turn, though. Oh, no. Not Jace. Please stop. Oh, no. I don't like... I don't like that very much at all. Actually, that'll kind of work. Okay, well, good news is he's throwing my monsters in the grave, which I don't think is good for him in the long run. Um, I'm going to try and get this out first so I can start attacking. Um, I will attack with this. I want to see if you try and block me. You fool! I can actually bring it back with Bond of Revival. I don't know if that'll be good in the long run, though. Does he draw... And he gets to draw a card? Fuck, Jace is hard. Fuck, yes, I did that. Alright. Uh, I am gonna... Grab... I grabbed the wrong card. That's not good. That's not what I wanted. Right now it seems like Jace is a big part of their deck. So, the sooner I can attack Jace, the better. All attack. Let's all attack this boy. Do they admit that Jace is dead? Or do they try and fight him along the way? Okay. Alright, I do need more mana though. It is going to become increasingly important. I need to get rid of this card. Spell Gorger. Oof. That would have been more helpful if you, uh... God, they have a whole fucking Jace deck. What happened here? How did they get all of this? They're playing defensively, which is my only saving grace here. Um... 
I could have played Charity Extractor and I didn't. Oh no, don't counter it. He's a good boy, you can't counter him. Alright. I'll leave Spellgorger for now. I can whittle him down, but that's all I can really do. Oh, uh, fuck, what is this thing? Ah, oh, fuck. God, that thing's tough. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to deal with. Thank you. I don't think your two men in your hand is gonna cancel this card. Maybe it is, I don't know. Uh, I could... Each player sacrifices two creatures. I'll wait. They'll have less fodder. Okay, you're gonna attack. You're not gonna attack. This way I can zerg down one of their monsters if I have to. Fuck, not another one. They're really trying to draw their whole deck here. Ugh, you're killing me right now. It just keeps drawing so many goddamn cards. Okay, well... Does this thing a trample? Of course it does. Um, this does not have trample. He's a good boy, but he must be sacrificed. I wish I had two more mana so I could play that at least. That sucks, but I can work with it. Um, okay. Do I keep creating monsters? Yes. I think that's probably the best way to do this. Did I even play my mana this turn? Yes. I have no words, because I'm just trying to prevent this disaster. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Enters the battlefield. If you control another creature with four red air, it deals two to each opponent. Okay. Alright. So, I'm gonna definitely block that. Block that. And I'm gonna block that. Which leaves the ogre. Which is unfortunate. Um, it's gonna deal a lot of damage to me. I wish I could do more with that. Okay, and please let me play this. Goodbye. Whenever attacks. What's happening here? Oh, it goes back to its hands. 
Okay. Okay. All right. Um, let's see what I can do here. No choice but to create another token because I can't use any of the other effects. Um, I think I gotta play a big in. So we'll do. I think I can do eight for this. I didn't give myself room to play that card, but I should be okay. What card is in their hand again? Lightning Golem. At least now I have some blockers. And my monsters, if they die before Liliana, that should be okay. That helps. Okay. Ooh, well, he doesn't need mana, so definitely get rid of that. It fucks up his effect a little bit, too. Alright. <clears throat> Starting my... Alright, I'll take it. Honestly, man, I think you could have still won that. That was... I am not in a position of victory there. Okay. Now earns twelve hundred. What did I pay for this? Two thousand. Three packs. So it's really all about gems you get back. All right. <sighs> I still believe in myself and the heart of the cards. War of the Spark is fun. These cards are just dumb fun. Like the Planeswalkers are fun. The a mass mechanic is fun. Just a lot of, like, just things keep being fun. Uh, I can work with this. I think I need more mana. And I need something to play. Oh, no. That's not better. But uh, I'll keep it and hope I get a swamp. I did not. All right, I need more mana, so I'm just going to put that down. I think I might have actually fucked myself here. This is a really bad starting hand. If I don't draw a swamp next turn, I'm, or in the next two turns, I should say, I'm probably really dead. <coughs> All right. I can sort of work with this. I still need one more swamp. Oh, yeah, fuck this noise. Uh, band together to break a giant. Let's get rid of this motherfucker. Is he really trying to play three mana, Zach? And it's working. Fuck. No. That's not good. Oh, wait. This, that's exactly what I needed, actually. Now that I have him, I can, um... I can play these, which is helpful. Discards two cards. You monster. I should have kept that card in my, my thing. Okay. Um... I can still play this on their turn. Which is good. I need mana, please. Mana, please. I need one more mana. And then I can start working with Liliana, who will greatly help me. I keep trying to read Kaya. No! You choose a non-land card from the player discards that card. Fuck! Liliana's gone. That was a rough hit. I'm not gonna lie.
Great. Great. Of course I get this card. Now. It doesn't help me anymore. What is this? Colorless spells cost two exile. Costs two less to cast. Exile the top card of your library face down and look at it. Uh, create a 2 2, destroy target permanent. That's one or more colors. Okay. This is not ideal. They're really playing f four colors here. They were holding on to that card. <sighs> Fuck. I'm in danger. But I won't want target creature then. Ah, fuck off. This might be a very quick end. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm getting fucked over by this by this motherfucker. How on earth am I losing to a five color deck? Notoriously hard to play. Oh my god, I wanna die. You don't even help me right now. Oh, I guess you do. I'll take it. Oh. I don't do this often. But, uh. I'm not dealing with this nonsense. I had a bad hand, and they had miraculously had a five color, four color deck that worked. Okay, let's try this again. I had nothing to come back with that. Fuck. I don't get beaten that handily very easily. Okay, just waiting. There we go. Yes, this I can work with. Sort of. It's going to be a rough opening, because I have no, like, small cards to play, but I think it'll... I think it'll add up in the end. By the time he plays whatever card he can play his second turn, it's, it's not going to matter, because I'll use Sorens. Ugin's Conjurant is pretty fun. I'm liking a lot of cards here. Fuck, he would play a card I can't counter. Motherfucker. Whenever blocks creature flying, it gains plus two. Snare spinner. Literally just got giant spiders out here. Good. That I can kill. Just like just like in the simulations. Okay, now I'm wondering if I should play anything, or if I should just hold off and destroy another monster if they play it. The next turn I can play Angreth, but it's kind of dangerous to play without anything to back it up. I might just play Ugin's. Bad dog. Alright. 
I'll show you what a good dog looks like. Okay. I wonder how Giant Growth works with Mowu. It's literally him in the card. I wonder if it would do plus four for only one turn. I'm curious to see how this turns out. Crunch Wrangler. Ugh, what is this? Because their their deck is designed around giant monsters, which is worrisome. Okay, um, let's do this because then it needs menace. Or then it has menace. Plus, I can start amassing. Um, they have enough to collectively take him down, but yeah, I'll hold off till next turn. Because then I can use giant growth and fuck him over. Really hoping there's no giant monsters here that I have to deal with. Ah, oh, what did I just say? And he pro proliferates. Shit. That's not good. It's actually quite bad. How did you even have... <laughs> How did... How do they even have enough mana to play that left? Oh my god. Okay. That's a problem. Doesn't have trample. Oh, it does have trample. Fuck. I'm trying to figure out how I can make it not... How I can amass again next turn, but I don't think I can. I just have to give him up. I just have to let that happen. I mean, I could go after him, but I'd rather let him live. Untap target permanent. Gotcha. Okay. I'm gonna, I don't really care about their plane walker. I don't care if you draw or not. I'm gonna continue to go after the main baddie. Interesting. So he knows something is up, but he doesn't know what's up. Um, I would like this to be the first thing I take out, and then you to be the second. What more? Worth it. Really need another mana. Start this engine going. If not, I can do another Ugans, which will be good. Be a good fighter at least. I just wish they wouldn't take so fucking long. I swear sometimes people don't think about their attacks on their turn. It is all I think about. They might use a giant growth too. Didn't matter. Did not concern me. 
Hey, all right, let's get this going. No point in attacking because it'll just block and neither creature will be destroyed. Okay, this will be helpful because then I can play Ugin's even stronger next turn. I don't care about your planeswalker. Interesting. I gotta go fast. That's very fucking helpful. Alright, what's actually in my deck? My graveyard for monsters? Mowu. Which is good. Play him for sure. Come on back, bud. And then... I'll do another zombie creature. Okay. And then all attack. Now this is starting to come back. I really do need to zerg him down. What does this card do again? Ah, there's my buddy. Alright, do I want do I want to do an Ugin's instead? Oh, actually. <laughs> Ooh. I like that. Okay, play that. It's a no it's a land, now I know. And then play him. Because he also counts as a land, and the next turn, gonna make a monstrous Ugin. It's safe to say I've won this one. Hooray! That was fun! Fuck, Liliana's a great card. I'm really glad I grabbed her. Alright, four wins. Not too shabby. might be the best I've ever done. Okay. Gruesome Golkari. Oh my god, my names for these are atrocious. Nobody appreciates how awful these namings are. I gotta make a new, like, template for War of the Spark. Yeah, I can work with that. I'm going to assume I'll draw mana. If not, I'll play Ugin's just to protect myself. Definitely play Prowler first, because I keep forgetting he counts as mana. Hmm. Really need to draw mana next turn. I probably I could have played Ugin's. Augur the Bolus. This battlefield look at top three cards. Reveal and reveal an instant from among them, put it in your hand. Interesting. Okay, so technically I have four mana. I'll probably play this. Because it'll give me another mana. Oh, I'll definitely play it now. Idiot should have played hex should have made sure you were hexproof. Um I don't think I need two forests or anything. I almost tapped him as a mana. That would have been unfortunate.
Hey, thanks for playing. Um, I'm gonna have to say no, though. And then... Thank you. I'd rather get my monsters on the field than not attack one turn. Plus, this gives him more, um... More things to choose from. Okay. Uh, no. Well, I'll take it. And... Get rid of that nonsense. Get your death touch out of here. I have to play Ugin's next turn. Well, no, because they still have that minus 5-5 five, five card. They're just not playing it. Proliferate and draw a card. I guess that works. They still have enough mana to take it out. Strike target creature with converted. And then it costs 3 or less. Fuck. Uh, and yoink. Okay. Slowly but surely working through here. Ooh, that's a good one. Thank you. Very much needed that. Okay. They have Death Touch. I mean, he can go after Liliana now if he wants, but... If anything, she serves as a distraction. Whatever he plays for a monster next turn... I'm gonna make him sacrifice it. That works. Damn. Fuck, Liliana strikes fear into the hearts of people. Hey, I got a card. Hazda Marshall. Never. Hazda Marshall and at least two other creatures attack create a 1 1 white soldier token with lifelink. And then I got a pack. Alright. I've earned 1600 Now I'm aiming to win 2000 which is the cost of entry. Which is unprecedented. It's never been done on Wrath of Zalus. Mildly excited. Alright. I can't believe I won five times. This is deck. is. I'm going to have to like invest in this deck. Like, outside of this. Okay, I got Fire Mine Vessel. This poor guy. I can't believe... I know it's a 40 card deck, but I feel like Ugin's and Liliana come up every goddamn match. I will play one just to get something on the field. Okay, that works. Um, do I want to do this one first? Um, let's get a look at their hand. Ooh, a Johnny the Greenheart. I wanted this card, actually. And then Lockstone Sergeant, Bloom Hulk. Yeah, none of those are as bad as you think they are. Get rid of a Johnny. I don't need this life gain nonsense. Martyr, what is this thing? When it dies, pl proliferates. Okay. I don't want to, but 
think I should play Fire Mind. Uh, no. We'll do that first. Okay. Having Menace is a really good early advantage, so I think it was worth it to play that instead. Courage and Crisis is going to help me out next turn, too. Yeah, I think that was a better choice. Ruh row. Let's do it on Ugin's. And Ugin's again, why not? Okay. <clears throat> and then I'd like to amass again, please. I don't really care about this thing, but this guarantees I can destroy it. It's a nice distraction. Doesn't matter. <laughs> he has to target me. That's funny. All right, never. I guess not. Stun Sergeant. Okay. So I can't play that because he's still in the field. So what I will do... I'll add some mana. Um, and then... It doesn't matter if he gets rid of him. Okay. And then... No attacks. I'm going to play another one next turn. And that'll be pretty devastating, I think. Oh, that's that fucking hexproof motherfucker. This is a good card. I like that. Fuck. I didn't think he played both of those this turn. Hmm. Uh, I could, but I'll rather just take it. Okay. And then I could play more, but I won't. Alright, let's... Attack with both. Alright. I think I have this. Interesting choice. Um... Um, I don't think I can wait any longer. I'm not worried about a mess, so... Um, leave no attacks for now. Because I can't swing over him. I guess he must have known that, that if he destroyed it, I wouldn't have the benefit of Menace anymore. Definitely want to play that as soon as I can. Ah. Fuck off. You're kidding me. Alright, well, the good news is, I don't think he realized I can actually destroy so many of his cards. Alright. Uh, we're gonna play this flying card. <laughs> Good. We're gonna play that. Uh, and then, I guess I can attack. He's very low on health. Okay. It's, it seems he already knew. Okay. 
Okay, that's helpful. I'll hold that aside. Um, okay. I'll hold that in case I need it. Oh, this is a close one. Actually, I think I can win this turn. Target creature. Oh, fuck. No, I don't want to do that. It's only creatures. Okay. All right. Don't know what he has in his hands, but it's not mana. Or creature, target. Attacking your blocking creature. I have officially made back the cost of my entry, which is an amazing feeling. Okay. So, we're just going all the way now, right? I literally have nothing to lose. I've gone equal. I get to keep all these cards. Got them all for free, basically. No, not for free. I worked for them. This has honestly been a lot of fun. It's it's amazing how much more fun this game is when you win. I want to do more of this. Like sealed decks are fun. I like sealed decks so much more than drafts. Drafts are fun, but sealed deck I just I like having everything at once and just like bam now, make something with it. Alpha and Omega, we're back with a Johnny. I can work with that. I don't have any low monsters, but. I think I'll be okay. Toll of the Invasion will amass. And then I'll play him. Then, or I'll play Firemind, probably. Oh, you can see the Bolus statue over here. I didn't notice that before. Wonder if he'll just destroy it. <coughs> yep. I don't mind. Really only playing it just to you know put something out there. I do need another swamp still, but if I can get another as long as I can get to fire mine vessel, I should be okay. Uh no. No thank you. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. Proliferate puts counters on those that already have it. That's the big draw with that one. Okay. So I have a couple cards I can play next turn. What's the thing with Vivian's Grizzly again? Yeah, the whole reason I didn't use it is that I don't have um, a lot of planes. Oh, actually, I probably could have used that in this deck. I've got a fair number of planeswalkers. Oh, wait. It's one of the Rakdos things. Interesting. That's going to be helpful. Um, okay. Let's do this one. That's all I can play. No! It's Death Touch, though. That's something. I can't gain life. That's concerning. I wonder why that didn't count. Oh, okay. Now I see. I accidentally messed up because it has to use two mana once. Okay. So he's got Ward Scale Crocodile, 
is hexproof, which makes it difficult against me. And Ravnica at war. Knight the Beacon's a good one. Oh, man. That's a good one. Oh, is he using multicolors too? I gotta snuff him out if he's using a bunch of different colors. Okay, here we go. Let's get that motherfucker out there. And then... I guess I can't play anything else, but that's okay. I'll just attack with him. Um, they both need menace. Or they both have menace, so this thing's getting dead no matter what. It appears he only just realized. Man, Ankreth's coming in clutch. Rakdos against Rakdos. Yeah, I really get like I gotta give Golgari more credit. It's it's a very viable format. Is he not gonna block with his monster with his bear? I wonder if he just hasn't figured out that I have menace. Yeah, that's fun. Oh, to any target. Fuck, I didn't see that. Ugh. It's not bad. Welp. Welp. Good news is, that idiot left this thing wide open. Not that it matters. Um, and then, best boy may return. Target creature card. I don't have any creature cards. I think I should play Thundering Ceratox so that I can at least revive it if it goes down. Control, Isaiah, hide one mana. Ah, oh, fuck. That's a good card, too. What will he do? And it is so much fun playing with these planeswalkers, though. Okay. Get that mofo out. I'm not going to attack, but starting next turn, I will. Oh, no. Fuck. Ah. It's killing me. God, that's not a bad planeswalker. Actually, I shouldn't be worried anymore. Now that I have both of these, um, if he attacks, I can still take it down. And then I'll bring whichever one survives back with Bond of Revival. There's Nico Bolas' statue. You can see the sparks flying around here. Again, why am I the only one in the world who doesn't take fucking forever? What do they exile? Oh. oh, right, that's what that card does. Oh, I hate that card. Please attack. I'm excited. Please attack. I guess he only went three colors, which isn't. As crazy. At your leisure, whenever you feel ready. Just who lets it run this long? I'm surprised they haven't um, played Nahiri yet. 
Uh, what is this? Jesus Christ. Ugh. Stop. I need cards. You're only giving me mana. Ugh. I'll leave that still. They're both tapped. How did they both get tapped? I don't know what happened there. I'm going right after him. Just to see what he does. I'm alright with that. It's a good boy. I just want to use all my cards. I think now the plan is probably to kill this thing. Creature you control have first strike. Oh fuck, now here he's not bad. I don't know, I might still have a chance, but I think this one might be not in my favor. I have to block one of them. You're killing the game. Alright, now I can concede. I want him to know. Alright, almost made it. Call me Ash Ketchum because I lost in the last round. We got three new packs, 2,000 gems, and like this began, it's going to end the same way. We're going to open four packs. Alright. What do we got here? Deliver unto evil. That's some old school magic, too. Choose up to four ca target cards in your graveyard. If you control a bolus planeswalker, return those cards to your hand. Otherwise, an opponent chooses two of them. Leave the chosen cards in your graveyard and put the rest in your hand. Exile, deliver unto evil. Ashiok, dream, render. Um, spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause their controller to search their library. Let's top four cards of their library in the graveyard, then exile each opponent's graveyard. Remove up to five counters of target artifact creature, planeswalker, or opponent. Oh, that one hurts. Um, target creature can't block this turn. Next proof. Right, right, right. Good. What's this one? Enters the battlefield, gain three life, and you get to add mana of any color. Alright, what else? Hit me with it. Got another Ashiok. Guild Globe. These are all cards I've seen. Single combat. Each player chooses a creature or planeswalker they control and sacrifices the rest. Players can't cast creatures or planeswalker spells until their next turn. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got 10th District Legionnaire again. Gleaming Overseer. This battlefield of the mass one. Zombie tokens you control with hexproof and menace. That's pretty cool. Crawl Stinger. Death Touch. Bloom Hulk, which is the one everyone else was using. Unlikely Aid is one of my favorite cards. Dark Creature gets plus two and gains indestructible until the end of turn. No one ever, no one will ever ride me again, Gideon. Expect no further favors. Gideon literally rides Arakdos himself. Narset's Reversal. Copy target instant sorcery, then return to its owner's hand. You may now choose new targets for the copy. Then return it to its owner's hand. Does that mean I search their hand for it? Again, no fucking planeswalkers. What's happening here? Um, Dread Malkin. Sacrifice another creature or planeswalker. Put two counters on Dread Malkin. And it's got Menace. I got another five Fire Mind. Law Rune Enforcer. Tap target creature with converted mana cost two or greater. Uh, band together. Relentless Advance. Vivian's Arc Bow. Discard a card. Look at the X cards of your library. You may put a creature card with converted mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield. The rest in the bottom in any order. Interesting. Not nearly as good as the uh, cards I got from that. So yeah, I guess I could do another one. I don't know if I want to, but that was a lot of fun. And then still got to do traditional draft. So yeah, how much longer are these going for? It doesn't tell me when it expires. But yeah. It was another War of the Spark, or I'm sorry, that was another Magic gameplay. I had a fucking ton of fun this one. 
So look forward to more until I get sick of War of the Spark. But honestly, the cards in this one are some of the most fun to play I've ever seen. Like, just I love the way the game's working with these. So thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. It's time for the Patreon and YouTube thank yous. Hey everyone, just another month. Uh, I just want to thank the same people and some new people, so thanks again. Uh, Ertrev for $1, Sean and Norm for $1 as well. You guys are awesome, thank you. Carlos for the 2, Azor for the 3. Uh, Maz and Happy both hanging on strong with their $5 uh, Patreon. And then Eniac and Connor, thank you for the 10. And new this month, Sean Thomason, thank you for the $10 um, Patreon sub. I really appreciate it. And then Michael Smith and John Barnett, both at 15. You guys are all amazing, and I love you guys. Thank you. And then on top of that, uh, for the YouTube sponsorships, I can't breathe in this. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, thank you to Electric Narwhal and Raptax, both just about to pass one month. Uh, Michael Smith and John Barnett for the, at one month as well. And Luisa, Eniac, and Moz at two months. Thank you, guys. Um, once again, just a general reminder, you get access to early videos, uh, and that stuff does just like just by going subbing to either of these in the Discord. And then linking it with the Discord, too complicated. I literally can't breathe in this thing. And uh, yeah, thank you guys, and look forward to seeing you next month. It'll be a lot less horrifying than it is right now. So, see ya! Some people are going to unsub to me, and that's fine.